All right, here we go. A walk through with the whole plugin. Once these videos are up, we're going to have a link inside here to support videos. So if you ever want to go, just click on this, and it'll always take always take you back to this page. Uh, we'll just go through these one at a time. Business pages. Here, there, there won't be any business pages in here when you fire it up. But to create a new page, all you got to do is choose the template. And for this, the standard version has the default. The pro version has these. Uh, name the business, contact name, phone number, email address, website, example URL. Uh, the example website, you're going to have to have access to some mobile themes or a mobile website uploaded somewhere that you can put the link to. This is not offered in the plugin, but we're doing a webinar on Saturday that's going to help you guys out with that. So you're going to need access to mobile examples somehow. Let's go to the settings real quick. Uh, you have to create a page on your site, so just do page, add new. And I'll walk you through that real quick. All you have to do is add a new page. You can name it whatever you want. One letter is fine. Click publish. And then when you go over here, let's uh, reset the settings page. Then you can choose which page you want to do. I'm just going to keep it here. Hide page from navigation. Turn this on yes. That means the pages you create are not going to show up on your home page. Layout regular. Most things we've used it with, we kept it on regular. Two phone layout. This right here is a default second phone one, so if you don't happen to put in one in the spreadsheet or when you create the business page, this one will automatically be put in there. Show QR codes. Scan this. That's the text that shows up above the QR codes on the landing pages. You can change the color of the contact form and name and phone number. That means on the bottom of the boxes. Here, let me pull one up for you. This text right here is what you can change from there. This is you can put whatever you want in here. Uh, submit button down here at the bottom. You can change the text right here. And show name field. So you need to do name and phone number or name and email. Or, or name and phone number or just phone number. This is the email it's going to be sent from. The email name. PHP you can send from your own domain. As long as the plugin's installed on the domain where the email's coming from. We're going to have a separate video just for SMTP. So you have that option here. If you're advanced and know how to use it, good. If not, we'll have a separate video for that. Read notify integration. We're going to add a couple different sites like read notification to this so you can do that send email on view and send email on submit basically means when the emails are viewed or the landing pages are viewed and phone numbers are submitted you get an email business email BCC blind car carbon copy so all the emails you send out to businesses you can blind carbon copy yourself and receive a copy of them so you can see how it's coming in and the same thing here business page view and contact request if you want this to go to several different email accounts, you can do that here. And this is the text that shows up after the uh, information submitted on the form. Let's go back here to page templates. Here's the default one that comes in the standard one. You can edit this however you see fit. Um, up here, you can play around with the images. Uh, if you have the advanced version, there's more up here so you can see them all. We'll also be adding a download link for that. And then down below here is the landing page content. So, pretty self-explanatory here. These are the placeholders you can use that come in installed in this. Then the email templates. Here's the default one that comes with the standard one. There's extra ones thrown in for the pro version. But you can edit this however you see fit. You will want to come down here and put your name and stuff down here. I just have place fillers in here now. You can change the email subject line and all these are short codes you can use. So that's pretty much all there is to this. Uh, in the business pages, over here, you can see when the email was sent. You can see whether the landing page was viewed and when the contact request was sent. So all this is in here. So that's the basic walkthrough of the front end. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you.